magical presentation and a step-by-step -step PowerPoint. See the rest of the video and learn how to do it. First step, add your specific picture. Go to insert picture and choose your favorite picture. Now duplicate it. Put it out of your slide. Cut your picture by Ctrl X. Right click on your background, format background, choose picture or texture and choose clipboard. Your second picture, select it and go to picture format, choose crop more, aspect ratio put it in 101, crop it and then again go to crop, crop to shape and choose circle. Put the size in 1.6. Now in your main slide, add shape. Go to insert shape and choose rounded rectangle corner. Draw it. Now rotate. Duplicate these shapes as many as you want. Put them in a way that you see. Now, select all of them. Go to Format Shape and choose Slide Background Fill. You can remove the outline. Now, go to Shape Effect, add a shadow. Change Distance Center to 10 or more than this and, and change Blur Option Number. Now, add a rectangle in your slide Remove its outline and choose gradient fill for this. Put two stop gradients and one of them in black and one of them in white and change its transparency as a rate that you want. I think it's 80% or 20% for black, it's good and 80-90% is good for white color and send it to the back. And put your circle on the left side. Now you can add your text. You can uh, change the size, fonts, and color. Do the same things to see up to here for other pictures. Let's do it together. Put all these circles in your first slide. Select all of them, go to Align, Align Center, and Align Distribute Vertical. Okay, choose the first one, put it in this size, but change the size of others. Put them in 1.3 inches is okay. Now you can align them again. Do it for other slides. For last step, select all slides. Go to transition and click on morph transition. Now let's see what's happened. Don't forget, please subscribe our channel, like our videos and share it with your friends. Thank you a lot.